Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, at Kingwin Pro League 2015. This is the uh, ninth week of the event, which means we're closing in on the very end of the pre playoffs at the moment. Right up and coming is Savic versus Thais. Probably, as we mentioned already, one of the most important matches of the day by virtue of what it does to the top five spots. Definitely, this is a this will be a night nail biter, I would say. And both of the of those players really want to win this game, and Savic want to secure his like safe spot for the second season, and Thais just want to go into that safe spot. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, I think if Thais wins this, he's going to stay in the top five. But if he loses, I think Sixo uh, will be going up to top five from this position. And I think Gara has a chance to maybe beat Sixo afterwards if he does win his match tomorrow versus Brian Kibler. But besides that, this is going to be like a battle for top five spots. Savic is fairly secure. Uh, even if he loses versus Thais, I think he's going to still stay in the top five. But Thais really wants to get that win for him to get the fifth spot. Savic should be staying on fourth place or fifth place no matter what happens here. Uh, yep. But Thais really That's needs true. this win. Thais really, really needs this win. And... Um... You know, he's my teammate, so I'm kinda kinda little rooting for him, but also Savija is my really close friend, so um I'm torn here. I, I have no one to, to like root for, so uh I'm looking forward to, to a really interesting match. That that's it. That I want to see a really interesting match with new cards and uh some insane uh high level plays. Well, Savic is very creative in general when he brings decks to tournaments. That's one of the things that I think dis distinguishes him from other players is he's not afraid of bringing experimental decks to tournaments. Like, just think of Hobgoblin. That was one really weird mage deck that he also brought one day that didn't work out at all for him. Uh, yeah. But he at, least, he at least tried it. And so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some of the newer cards up in Savic's lineup. And his lineup is, now that we are you know onto that, Druid, Paladin, and Warlock. And Thais has Mage, Hunter, Warlock, so both players share the Warlock as a class, but not necessarily the archetype. Yeah, not necessarily. Look, um, Thais is one of those players that really liked the handlock as an archetype, and he used to play it a lot. And Savage, on the other hand, I recognize him as a zoo player. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I don't maybe even like... Well, maybe not zoo, lock, like... Maybe, but... Yeah, mage and drug. You know, not the handlock type. Maybe. Right, all right. So not the tap, 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 tap type of player. Just, yeah, uh, not the tap type. type not the tap type, type. type, all right. Type, type, tap, type, type, type. tap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm curious, though, for the lineup. Druid, Paladin, Warlock, and Mage, Hunter, Warlock. One of them, like, Thais's lineup seems to be a lot more aggressive, if I have to be honest with you. Um, if only for the Hunter that's there. I know that Face Hunter has fallen out of favor quite a lot, but you told me that Thais favors the Face Hunter quite a yeah. lot so well, would he the, still bring it at this point or would he prefer to go for something a bit more in the mid-range area now that the deck is coming back up i, I think that the hunter face hunter is still a really it's something that, that has to be taken into account when you think about the meta game and uh, face hunter is still really powerful it can just plow through every deck punished for bad draws uh, well it can be punished for its bad draw too but on the other hand, you have the hero power, which can be used always, and it always achieves your strategic goal, which is Smork. So yeah, I just hit face. You know, it's yeah, very easy. Yeah. So uh, Face Hunter is still a really great deck to play, and uh, use it. It's kind of aggressive lineup, and if that's right, even if the mage is a freeze mage, because freeze mage, when you think about it, is just an aggressive deck, but with kind of different mindset. Yeah. It's not like a. Um, typical control um, deck. It's, it's more of a um, combo deck, I would say. Yeah, it's more on the combo end of things, if anything. Um, yep. Which I think is not a bad thing. We need some of those. Like, there's a bit of diversity. They all have the same goal as far as pressure goes, but the way they achieve it is very different. That's one of the dynamics of the classes. It makes each class play very differently. Now, what I'm curious about right now, though, is whether or not Savic's Paladin is more on the mid-range or control side. I don't think he'll bring aggro pally right now. I don't know if it really makes much well, sense in a, <laughs> such a heavy or dynamic meta. But he but... loves this deck so much, right? I know, I know, but like, could you bring it in the, the meta game? Like, th there's so much shifting going on right now uh, yeah. in the meta. Could you bring aggro pally in this meta game? And the flame walker just... Although, you know what? We did say it doesn't matter if Savic loses. He's still in the top five, right? 
So yeah, I mean, he could kinda. he could literally bring anything. He could, <laughs> if he wanted to, he could bring literally anything, like Wisp Druid with Dark Whispers. Yeah, that's and true. Hobgoblin. And by the way, Savage yeah. just rank one on EU right now. I know. Yeah, I and know. it was achieved by playing the mid range warlock. So I would assume that's a safe bet. That this warlock is a mid range warlock. Yeah, I think it's a deck that's. It feels very. It, it feels like it's in line with the the playstyle that I give to Savage. Um, I know that he likes to play control decks, but he plays mid range very well as well. Especially the slower types, and Warlock yeah. is much of a it's a much slower mid range deck than say Face Hunter or I mean mid range Hunter, which tends to be a lot more aggressive with the way they play. Uh, mid range Warlock is a bit on the slower end. True. All right, so the first match is going to be Savich's Paladin versus Thais's Warlock. So we'll have to see what type uh, what type of decks they brought. If Thais brought Handlock, and Savich brought Pally, I think Paladin's got a pretty decent chance in the matchup. Uh, you mean the Agro Pally? Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Totally. Uh, it's the divine favor pushes it to the limit when it comes to card advantage. I would say. <laughs> well, I mean, if he's bringing aggro value, then definitely. Um, I, I you could also pin dice on bringing handlock. I'm guessing. So maybe aggro value makes a bit of sense in that specific case. <laughs> yeah, like well. I can't believe I'm saying aggro value makes sense. It's like yeah, that, that's what cracked maybe. me up. <laughs> maybe the one time where it can make sense, but we'll have to see exactly what type of decks they play. We'll notice it in the starting hand very easily. Generally speaking, that's a giveaway. Giveaway? No, no, Everyone, not that Everyone, get type. in here, ruffle! <laughs> Pylon! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get into the game very shortly here. Apparently, it is mid-range Warlock versus... Ag yeah, this is definitely uh, not Agro uh. Pally. It's, oh, come uh, on, Savish. Yeah, what, what's up with that, man? Your top five spot. Although, you know what? He does want to get into top three. This is where the money's can at. He? Well, you know? Yeah, he can. If he wins it, uh, now and... Um... Well, you know, every single game that they play in King with Pro League is a $100 match anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like Every match counts. You don't want to throw a game just because you can. So, so Savish, if he does win this um, and show loses... I mean, yeah, if Firebat loses even, Savich would be ahead of both those players. Oh yeah, right. If Savich wins, I think his tiebreaker would possibly be higher than Firebat's by like a tiny bit, if at all, or just equal. And show, you know, if he loses, then could have Savich take a spot, so... Yeah, well, well you're right. Hmm. Alright, well, it seems to be a mid-range pally, or control. I mean, Powder Shredder and Powder Sky Golem are trademarks of control, and avoid terror! You up, mate? That's um, that's a really awesome. cool card. I, I really liked it when they made that one. I was like, okay, this has some future. Yeah, but and not, maybe with the their spawn yeah. from the M Gang boss. Now you've got between Implosion and M Gang boss, you've got a constant flow of one ones. So sacrificing them might be doable. Like if he gets Void Color, that would be so insane. You know, what about attacking that 1-1 one, one with your, uh-oh, never mind that. That Nerubian Egg might have changed things a little bit. Yeah, you, now you just attack into the 1-1 one, one with your Ingen Gang boss and play the Nerubian Egg. You're secured from Consecration anyway with that. Yeah, and Yeah. No, I think this is a great play. Uh, Savich has got a pretty nice follow-up turns though, so with Sludge Belt Church was our champion. He just needs to find the Consecration eventually, because um, the moment this board is consolidated by Thais... I, like, there's no handlock for Thais, which I think is a bit on the, as you said, you know, unusual side. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you have the Owl here, but you... S I'm yeah. not sure if I didn't like the Owl more, to be honest. I think just trading away your void one, color, one void, void, void walker. walker. Yeah, yeah. I would say, I would say I would do that. Trade the one one and the void walker. I mean, what's the tone doing really? Like you're still protected from consec, and true server champion just kills the M gang boss and spawns a one one. So you're okay with it? Yeah. So I think Belcher is going to be better for Savich here. And now the Owl, you know, oh, that makes so sense to keep the Owl for the Belcher, right? Yeah, against Paladin, I think, like, if you're expecting Shredders and Paladin Sky Golems, and Tyrion possibly, like, there's only, there's a lot of targets in Paladin nowadays that you want to silence, especially in the control type. 
Yep, right. And I was wrong. And now you know that it's turn six, so you don't want to play the Void Terror on your egg, then you're vulnerable to a quality consecration, which can happen and just you lose the game from that point, most likely. So, so do you just trade everything away? Like Iron B. Cal, M. Gang Boss, and then trade everything you've got, or you just go face and force the. Because I think going face leaves you vulnerable to Consec. But. Oh Ooh. man, he's gonna go oh, for it. Oh wow. Maybe That's what he's really reading. Risky. Maybe what he's reading into this is if he had Consecration, he might have done it in the past two turns. Maybe. Maybe you're right. there was yeah. a decent Consec about a turn or two ago. So maybe Savage would have done it if he'd had it. And now he uses both. He will use both peacekeepers, right? Eh? I think so. Yeah, that gives him a classic. crazy board. That's an insane board. Dice is gonna be hard pressed to contest that without a, a play on turn six. At the Defender moment. of Argus would solve the problem, though. And he oh, is. No. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Dice, the defender to rule them all. Oh wait, abusive and M Gang boss together yeah. constitute another possible line of play. Nah, I would say Defender is still better. Nah, you're not convinced. You're not convinced, Lothar. Nah. And you go face with everything, just go yes. face. Go you face. You saw no equality concept, so you have to assume it's not there. Although I think trading could be decent if you're... Just a single consecration could be a problem, right? But you didn't saw it, so you're just you're like playing around the top deck. And Thais is very cautious here, but... So he changed his mind. Like he, First of all, he played... Super aggressively and risky on turn six, and, and then he switches gears. Yeah, yeah. I mean on turn five, on turn six of Paladin, and now he switched the idea. So I, I'm a little confused, but we'll see. No, I definitely know what you mean, though. It seemed like he was going for a zoo approach, and mm -hmm. then he decided, nah, never mind. I'm taking the mid range warlock. Yeah, I exactly. guess maybe the fact that he's got a Doctor Boom on the back end changes his mind, perhaps. Um, but because that's, that's when also you'll put cool pressure. when you force the consecration being played, and then you play Doctor Boom, and you're like, okay, I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some balance on your head. Well, Christopher Champion sees play pretty pretty good. The thing is, Doctor Boom needs like there's a BGH at the very least for Savic. I think his best top deck is by far Consecration. Yeah. Because if he finds Consec, he can actually wipe the board completely. Which I think is going to matter a lot. Now Dr. Boom. Wow. This Wait, I, I just thought of something. If... Um, yes? I'm waiting. Like If Malganus comes out, where is Savic's answer to it? Um... Is, does he even have one anymore? Yeah, well, he has one in his hand right now, dude. Oh, you mean if he doesn't play the Big Game Hunter? Uh, I mean, if he plays the Big Game Hunter on the Dr. Boom, okay. Yeah, yeah. No. You, I guess you've got to play Sylvanas, and that's about it. But then the Warlock can probably try to negate your play. No, in he a, has in to a use pretty effective matter. Yeah, he has to use it here, right? There's no choice. Yeah. But the question of Malganis then comes up about two turns from now. So an implosion now would be really great. Well, wait, he wouldn't have... Nah, never, never mind, never mind, I know. Actually, wait, is that is that bad? Is Powerwhelming bad? I don't even is dislike it? Powerwhelming. Yeah, you can sacrifice <laughs> the bomb for a 5-5 five five and maybe kill the big game hunter. It looks great, to be honest. But he tapped, so I don't think he'll do it. I was gonna say, like, the life tap makes it so he can't follow it up with Creeper. Well, if he would kill the both creatures with just... Never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Hearthstone, Heroes of Boomcraft. Yeah, You're the so mid-range battles. Noxious. You're so funny, Noxious. All you I have to comedian. say is Frothing Berserker, man. All I have to say is Frothing <laughs> Berserker. <laughs> Enough said, I believe. Oh. That's All a, right, so each finds that, the lay on hands. He's going to be able to deal with the Malganus now. With Perfect. That is exactly what he was looking for. It... If Thais will play the uh, Malganis right now, I don't, I don't think, think he would. Yeah. yeah, he will just tap. Oh! Holy crap! How much is that? <laughs> Both are surprised. He's gonna play Malganis just for the... I the M-Gang boss. I'm a little surprised by that. Yeah. I'm a little dismayed, to be honest, he, but we'll see exactly the how this So, I would rather tap into a creature rather than that. 
But now, yeah. uh, now Savir is forced to use the equality consecration, like no matter what. Yeah, there's no other line of play here. I mean, he could even play Coghammer and Zombie Chow on the back end, which is actually crazy. So equality, Zombie Chow, Coghammer, Pop Spider, Consec. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you could probably pick another order depending on how you feel, but I think that's the safer one. The thing is the Boombot then gets a detonation on the possible Zombie Chow. Maybe that is one thing so each wants to avoid. I think it's a necessary sacrifice. Mm. He's thinking about the optimal way he can play the turn, but I think it involves equality first and then Cog Hammer after with Zombie Chow. Yeah. And what about Defensive Argus? Nah. Well, you have to contact, so. Oh, yeah, right. No, oh, never mind. There it is. He's gonna take out everything. Whoa. Why did he do that? I'm not sure. I thought he was gonna pop the spider. Why would you. Oh, man. Savich. He forgot about the buff from Malganis saving the imp. Wow. This could be a huge deal. Wow. I'm actually very much surprised by this. That's really weird what just happened. Yeah, I think Savich didn't think uh, about that one interaction where the buff gets applied to the mint, gets summoned before it dies. Uh, he was counting on the imp to die there, but he's gonna have to find another consecration here if he wants to stabilize. Because this is not a good board state. Definitely not. This is like getting tickled to death. Tickled to death? Oh man. I have to I write could, that I down. That. I could die from that. <laughs> oh man, look at the amount of damage that Thais has. I think he just double PO and just... No, nah, never mind. Nah, well, I don't think it's a pretty good opportunity though, because then you're relying on maybe Doomguards or Ragnaros or whatever it is. That you play a deal straight up damage. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So at least using one of them is pretty solid. And Savish is now finding That's a useless mistake. card. So he has to use uh, Sylvanas with Defender of Argus. It's that or Kazan Mystic Hero Power Defender? I would rather prefer the Sylvanas. Then two taunts? Mm hmm. Okay. He's just saw the one power rolling, right? And he saw one abusive sergeant already. So the odds of having those exact two cards. <laughs> In Those hand. exact two cards <laughs> yeah, are really low, so we know that they are there. So it's really bad for Savish, but I think Tice, if he has a new removal here, oh, oh and he finds the RNB Kel. Hoot hoot, Lady Salonis. So one zero four Tice. Yeah, taking up the I first game here is that's uh, that's pretty that functional. For him. Savish cost him the game. I I think so. I think it left one more imp than necessary, and it left the spiders up, which meant there was effectively three more damage every turn it could have been yep. dealt. Uh, so I think that might have been the camel, uh, the camel, the straw that broke the camel's back. It was the camel that broke the straw's back. You heard it here first. Um, I'm just a little curious though whether or not, um, like I mean, Savich is never gonna make that mistake again. That's like a hundred percent sure. Uh, but, but I wonder if he's ever encountered that, that, that deck again today. Yeah, not today, but it, th these situations happen all the time. Situations like these do occur quite frequently. Like, Malganus is not even uncommon in mid-range Warlock or even in Zoo. You see Zoo decks with Malganus nowadays. But we saw an example during Seed Story Cup uh, that I, I can't remember which player was that, but he played the mid-range Warlock, of course, and he had lethal with Malganus because of the buffs, right? Okay. And he just missed that because... Almost the no plus one. two, you, plus two. Yeah, because oh, wow. you know, sometimes you just play it for the effect. I mean, for the invulnerable, invul, invul, I don't know, the invincible effect. And <laughs> and um, he just like forgot that that the demons are being buffed by yeah, Alganis and didn't go for it. So it was really weird. Yeah, it's pretty easy though, as far as like once you once you 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 do it once, I think you get used to it. Uh, because that plus two plus two is kind of an added bonus, but it is really meaningful, yeah. especially with implosion and imp gang boss that are oh, around. Yeah. Now. 
It's Definitely. just crazy the amount of lethals you can pull off of that one. So we'll have to see maybe in the future if people make more mistakes. I think mid-range Warlock is a deck that's very easy to mess up with. Anyway, yeah. by default, it's got very like many line of plays you can take. You know what I think of mid-range Warlock? Like it's um, it doesn't seem to be a like a demanding control deck when it comes to decisions. Uh, like a decisions cap that you have to the amount of decisions and the value of the decisions that you have you have to make in an unusual control deck but on the other hand you can make a huge amount of small misplays that yeah. can just make the game it will amount to yeah really hard for you because we know that the deck is really powerful and you can even still win when you make mistakes but those mistakes can really matter in the long term so, the small edges, you want to get yeah. as many like tiny edges as you possibly can. So those small mistakes do add up to the losses. All right, yeah. so next match is going to be Paladin versus Hunter. So Savic is going to go back to his Pally, which seems to be okay against Hunter. Yeah, uh, based on what we saw. like two anti-cubes. Chill mini bots. We saw a zombie chow, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Yeah, but and still, Hunter, Hunter just can like go like a hot knife through butter uh, with Unleash the Hounds and uh, Knife Juggler into two double kill com double kill commands or whatever and just rip the paladin apart yeah we'll have to see though if Thais decided to bring mid-range or aggro as you said you know he likes face hunter but i think mid-range is very very potent right now in the metagame and i think that's an easier matchup for paladin in general yep just because the outdoor peacekeeper does so much work in that matchup well maybe it's a hybrid but at this point i think i'm gonna have to go with the face hunter oh yeah golem i would say the arc and golem kind of says it all well i saw mid-range hunter play arcane golem as a one of and i was a little surprised okay never mind no this is definitely face hunter wow that's talk about a curve. Good, good opening i would say and you have to hero power that's really sad but you have to coin hero power oh i know that gla the glaive zuka will just wreck the pattern nope yeah well, lucky for Savage, there was no Glaive Zuka. That would have sealed the game, I think. Had like additional two, two points of damage from the Leper Gnome. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's additional damage, but then you can't play your Knife Juggler because you just played the Glaive yeah. Zuka. That it's is such, that would just be devastating. Time. Oh, double kill command. Yeah, that's nice. Against the deck that heals up. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh man. And what secret does he have? What is it? I don't know, and man. Which feature should I take? This. Six damage from a single Wolf Rider. Scumbag Wolf Rider. Explosive Trap it is. All right. So, Animal Companion to bluff into Snake Trap? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm hovering, hovering. There's, like, no way you can actually recover from this in Savicha's position. Is there, like, Consecration will be your only out, and it's not there yet? But you know, <laughs> Wolf Rider the, the, uh, the six, and Huffer the six. Eight, yeah. It was six. Well, six if you count the heal yeah. from True Silver, but the heal is kind of an added effect. And now and Dice is going to curve in again perfectly. You know, Wolf Rider hero power just smashing face nonstop, card after card. Yeah, and uh, Savis will play the, the Belcher and just ignore the Wolf Rider, so he will. And he can't attack face. No. It doesn't make well, any sense because you heal up two and then you're dealt two. So... What, if, what if you kill the Wolf Rider actually? You just can see <laughs> Yeah, that oh, yeah, no sense, yeah. Okay. It's turn five, your first heal, it's turn eight. Um, so that's what I said, the face hunter just went through like a lightsaber through Boba Fett it... in the new movie that is not released yet. All right, so Lightsaber Hunter is definitely a thing. Yeah. All right, Lightsaber Hunter, new archetype. You heard it here first. If, you, if, you, if your starting hand contains Leperno, Mad Scientist, and two Wolf Riders, you've got a Lightsaber Hunter on your hands. Just remember that for the future. Now, Thais has a mage left, and Savic has his entire lineup left. That was a really quick game, man. Even for a Face Hunter, even that, for Face Hunter, that was that just... That wasn't Firebat fast. No, uh, right, right. That was... <laughs> I don't think we had a faster competitive match uh, no. than the Bucharest um, finals match. Yeah, with the uh, Whirling Zapomatic turn... and Double Rock Biter, right? Yeah, turn one, Double Zapomatic. I mean, turn one, Zapomatic, turn two, um, Mech Warper, turn three, Double Rock Biter, GG.
Yeah, and the Warlock life tap twice. So yeah. that also gave lethal. That, that kind of helped. Yeah, that kind of helped, actually. I don't know if it was necessary, but it definitely did uh, assist Fireball and Yenil win. So we're going to be moving on to the next match. It's going to be Savic's Paladin again versus Thais's Mage. So we'll have to see if his Paladin can take the game. If Thais takes the win, he's going to stay possibly in the top five, I think. He might just be able to stay there. Whereas if he loses this, he's definitely not sticking around. Because yeah. 6 no, is going to be passing him up. Yeah, but Thais is also, if he wins 3-0... He his tiebreaker goes up, ro yeah. just rockets up, and this is really important for him. And um, now I'm thinking, what type of mage is it? It is like maybe freeze mage. Well, I know he. I've seen him play freeze mage quite a bit. Yeah, I would say so too. I wouldn't be surprised if he just brought it. Yes, he does. All right, so it's gonna be a uh, paladin oh. versus mage. And That's I a think nice generally hand. speaking, generally speaking, I'd venture to say mage just like freeze mage specifically beats Paladin almost all the time. Almost all the time. I think it's a really lopsided matchup. Especially against mid-range Pally. Like knife mm -hmm, jugglers mm -hmm. or telltale sign that this is mid-range more so than anything else. Oh, there's an Emperor! And a coin! This might be really important. So now you play Mad Scientist and the Mad Scientist is not being threatened by anything. So you just have, you, you almost always have the ability to trade for the Nav Juggler. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think there's any re like it, there's any way he doesn't get what he wants here. It's a yeah, full like clear only one, one uh, Coke Hammer would do oh, that. Oh, wow. Acolyte of Pain. Uh, do you keep the Acolyte for later and just ping the one on? Because you could keep the Acolyte for when you can enable it yourself with like play ping. Instead of dropping it here and losing it to choose over champion. Yeah. Now I would still favor the Acolyte. Even with true silver? Alright. I guess it prevents the Paladin Shredder Snowball. Because it forces the weapon to be played, which mm -hmm. buys you time mm -hmm. so you can answer things a bit later. Yeah. Yeah, so each definitely has to play his weapon now. He can't play his minion even though he he would love to. That and now he's on the best temple I would say. Maybe he'll just play Quartermaster next time. I would. Yeah, I think I would. It doesn't really... The, 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 oh God. the Quartermaster has no value almost in this matchup. Like, oh, well, Thais you... finds a perfect curve as well. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah that Loot Hoarder just changes everything because it pings the 1-1 instead of being stuck. Yeah, and, and maybe it, playing a secret. If it will be attacked by the Drusilo champion, just grinning inside. Thais has three secrets in hand. One of them was acquired through Mad Scientist, so he's got all his tools to survive. But now the second Mad Scientist, whenever it's top decked, is going to be essentially dead. Uh, that's not a... Like, there's a small chance of... Um, of drawing the Mad Scientist, and still... You have it's such an arsenal terrible. to draw cards in, in, this, uh, in this deck that you just... You know, basically you don't care about that. It's Of course it's bad that if you draw all the secrets first, but... You have the Emperor... So I would say he doesn't even care to play the Emperor on turn 5, you just do it on turn 6 and keep the coin. Yeah. Now Savic has to figure out whether he wants to keep his Bowser Shredder unharmed or not. Yeah, and that's not an easy decision. Wow. He makes the call, I don't mind losing this guy. So... Because I'm losing you... him anyway one day, <laughs> I might as well just lose him now. You go with the loot holder into the pilot and shutter, see what's going on with your draw, right? First. Yeah. Then definitely. you ping it most likely and probably play the second mad scientist. Yeah, that's good. What if it's Lord Walker show? Mm. Could could you imagine that in a freeze mage game, Lord Walker show comes out? I don't think I've ever seen it happen. Wait, what's going on now? Why Tice is coming out? Taurison makes no it's, sense, right? Yeah, not without Archmage and Ice Blo I mean Ice Lances and everything. Oh, he goes for that anyway. I'm really surprised. I'm not sure I like that very much, but we'll have to see how Thais plays this. Maybe he's just gonna go. I mean, he's got, as I said, you know, it's a pretty lopsided matchup baseline. I just don't know that this is the way to go, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
Because he doesn't need the Emperor to win the game. He always he already wins with just a straight up Alex play like he usually plays. Like mm -hmm. regular Freeze Mage without Emperor still wins against Bally most of the time. Um, so this is kind of an added bonus. You just don't need him. But I, I would have probably tried to keep it for later. Now he he has to play the finals too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needs his card draw. Yep. He plays the Ice Barrier. The second Mad Scientist is going to spawn nothing at all. This is as good a consecration turn as you're ever gonna get against Freeze Mage. <laughs> and no secrets are spawned. So each has a so little bit no of no vaporize. Do you, uh, do you playing to Blizzard sense? is pretty pretty crazy here. Why wouldn't you just hero power up? Yeah, I think uh He just wants to get board presence, but it's usually gonna get negated by Blizzard or Flame Strike in a position like this, so I got to say I'm not quite sure. Alright, Thai's just gonna go for the card draw, play Acolyte, ping it. He's got an amazing hand at the moment. Like board clear, he's he's pretty much safe. The Acolyte is likely to find him another board clear. So you ping the Acolyte and play the first novel, right? Or just yeah, don't probably. Care. I think just Ice Barrier alone is good enough. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 that's way better. Doctor Seven Eight. Do you do it? Uh, oh, the, I, I think Quartermaster is gonna have to come down. But do you wait one? Does he even play Muster? I haven't seen it. Did you see Muster well, he yet? He has to play Muster when he has a Quartermaster. Quarter right? Yeah, I just haven't seen any of it. Quarter Muster. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Well, the Emperor ha has little value in this matchup, I would say. Well, it's good enough. Lay on hands for seven. Doesn't allow you to do much more than you're already doing, but maybe a bit of a help. Doomsayer for Osnova, right? Yeah, I, I think so. That or you go for. The thing is, Emperor is going to get another turn of value if you just let it live. I don't think you care. Yeah. Like, there's no possibility of um, Paladin having some insane combos at all. It, it yeah, only... there's no force of it. Un unless they go for the really, really awesome uh, arcade no, no. double blessing of my <laughs> blessed champion. <laughs> New meta game. I would say that the only combo that you, you're worried... No, no, not really. There's nothing you, you're worried about. The only no. reason why Torsen is that there is it just allows you to recreate the board faster and that's yeah. it it just gives you a bit more like uh, it's a speed bump once you lose your board or once you need to contest with another mid-range deck yeah and god knows paladins can use like a little bit of speed bump sometimes all right so each finds the knife juggler with dr boom that's going to take out quite a bit of armor from the mage three hits that's not too bad i would say it's like an one and a half of hero power but not from this class. I actually got like two Hunter Hero Power classes. Yeah, that was turn. pretty good though. To yeah. be honest, that was a really nice hit. I don't think Savich <laughs> ever plays Zombie Chow here. Oh! Look at well. that! Look at that. Do you use it now? You're at maximum mana anyway, so... Yeah, you just Nova Iceland's face. <laughs> and then he can't even deal with them. <laughs> or do you play Doomsayer into Frost Nova? And I, I guess you could. The thing is, like, if you ice lance face and you Nova, ice... he can't even kill your guy. Yeah, you have ice block, second one in your hand. So, unless he plays Kazan Mystic in that Paladin deck, you don't care at all. And we know he does play Kazan Mystic. No, wasn't that in the Druid? No, it's been was... in Paladin. No, it was a Paladin Defend of Argus play that he could have done earlier. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. That's a good point. The thing is, Savich needs to find equality to kill the Archmage, otherwise that's- or like a silence effect. Oh, look at that. Wow, how convenient. <laughs> I really like uh, when that top deck is going- uh, is coming in there from, you know, in the Actually, can moment. he even deal with it? I well, just yeah. forgot, he's actually frozen. Oh yeah, right. They're- Juggle 50-50! Woo! Oh, yeah! wow, he got it! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But I wanted to say that I really love your reaction when there's a top deck and you like lean in your in your in your chair 
like now lean back and it's like what <laughs> it's always the same <laughs> i always react the same way when i have like two outs oh man well paladin is not dead yet he has a land hand and does only 22 25 damage in Ty's hand so essentially he has short of 11 damage well this i think he's up. gonna be able to find it the question is whether he decides to go for a you know what's actually really awesome savich can play laying on hands and get kazan mystic for oh four. yeah in the same hand oh that's a... I didn't think about that but yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. massive massive deal for him. about that why don't you flame strike right now um because he forgot about equality no no you play flame strike dude yeah, strike. I think you play Flame Strike all day here, but yeah, there's no sense of playing Doomsayer with Frost Nova. Yeah, and you also get rid of the bombs, which can yeah. kill you during your turn when you're really low. So that's important too. Not Team a bad, draw. not a bad draw at all. Now Savage is probably just gonna start punching face right now. You know that Leon Hands is going to be really clutch once Thais tries to unleash, because if you think about it, Alex Straza is the only thing that really Thais wants to see at this point. To be able to put his opponent on a guaranteed death. Hmm. Thais has to draw the Alex Straza. Without the Alex Straza, I don't think he can win now. Yeah, exactly. He, if he doesn't find Alex, it's going to be really tough. And if he does, then Savic still has Leon Hands, so it's still going to be a matter of two turns for Thais to kill him. Yeah, and he will get the Kazan Mystic sooner or later. Yep. So Thais has if he to gets play... the Ice Block, Thais is going to lose this because it's going to save Savic from the immediate kill. Yeah, and also like guarantee him a heal for 5, I would say. Yep, at the very least. Yeah. So Loot Hoarder, Doomsayer, Frost Nova, Pink, Face. I think, uh, think Savic is actually well on his way to win this game if he finds the Kazan Mystic. Mm -hmm. I guess any other cards might not do it, but that that's one of them that would do it. Oh, I thought he was fireballing the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, well, don't you know that's a mortal coil? He goes for face, interesting. Well, Ceviche is probably going to be a little... wary. He's going to have to get that Kazan Mystic. He wants it at the very least. Consecration, Owl, which is great also. Mm -hmm. So you Owl the Loot Horror. Yeah, deny, deny the card. Deny the card roll, yeah. Do it. What else do you Iron Beak Owl against Freeze Mage anyway? Acolyte of Pain you've already seen two of. You've seen one Loot Hoarder. What's left? Like, there's only Doomsayer left. That's the only other consideration you might have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not a bad one, but at least you get your weapon out of it, so you do you really care? I think the card draw is more important. I agree. I agree, and now the Shield and Minibot and Tyr and Forging are going to be able to withstand the first line of fire. Fireball, 16. Uh, that's still not enough. So you have to pink face. I think Thias' is only out here is Alex Straza. That is all he's got. Maybe another Ice Lance with Frostbolt. That's the other way he deals enough damage to Savic. But the one Kazan Mystic is all it takes. Oh, there it is. Well, well, well. Well, Speaking what? of the devil. So, do you wait before you play it? Yeah, you do. Because you don't want to uh, the mage to play the second one, so you you just play the waiting game and kill him with the weapon you will get from Tyrion. Yeah, you're gonna but, get frost bolted or ice lance when you get the weapon. If well, like usually, but if you can like surprise them with ice block steel, then you can get the kill then and there. So you go with a consec. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I think you heal up. Well, it doesn't matter. Muster for battle for one damage, why not? You might as well at this point. Well, you can you can have the second juggler, right? Yeah, right. Hasn't he played... No, he played the first one into Mad Scientist, and then the second one with Dr. Boom. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, never mind. I think yeah, so. Then, then you can just play the Master for battle and just go for one. Oh, he's gonna go for the quarter master play. Can't fault him for that. And Thais finds the Arcane Intellect, allowing him to dig... For the Alex Straza. And he has to do it. Yeah, and he's most the Alex. Definitely. That's oh, wait. no Alex. But he's got but two that's... turns of freezes right now. Uh oh. Yeah. And Savage will be forced to use the Kazan now. Defensively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A defensive Kazan Mystic in this matchup is absolutely 
horrendous. That's the worst draw you can get. Yeah, you already have Muster you don't want to use, even with Quartermaster. It's okay, let's think. He will use the... Muster, what? Quartermaster, what? Kazan Mystic, you just vomit everything. But if you play Muster, you, you kill your weapon. Yeah. I think you have to play just the Mystic at the very least. I don't even hate Muster because you've seen one Flame Strike, two Blizzards, so the only thing left is another Flame Strike, possibly if two of them are run. Nova. Yeah, but that's not a that's not a clear. Yeah, but it, it just buys time, and this game will be ended in two three turns anyway. So I would say the first Nova is kind of clutch. Could Savic just not use Kazan Mystic right now? I think you have to do it right now because. You have... I mean, you can't die next turn, right? You've seen one Ice Lance. So, in theory, you should be safe-ish. I don't think okay. Savic can no, die. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it's right. It's a combination of cars that kill Ice him. will just ignore board in this situation, I would say. Because he will... Wait, what about... Yeah, he plays the first Nova. Wow. That's a good call. Then so he, he punches his face really hard and yeah. really fast. So... He goes for the Frost Nova now, plays the Fireball Frostbolt, and this way he will finish Savish off with the Pyroblast after the Kazan will be played, but... That's gonna leave Savish for high enough on hell, he's gonna be on 7 at that Look point, at and that. then he's gonna just one-shot his opponent. But but Savish has to play uh, the Kazan Mystic this turn, just to be not killed by the Pyroblast, right? Yep. And then... Tice will just play second ice block and frostbolt face and win the game anyway. Right? Or am I wrong? How, how does he how does he actually get to kill the board before no, 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 no. his Wait. ice block gets popped? That's what I'm curious about because he can't play ice block. I mean, okay, he could mind. do it now, but he's gonna die afterwards. It's the only there's issue. Ice lines. And there's a fatigue damage. Yeah, fatigue is gonna kill Thais if this goes on. So I think maybe Power Blast face is not like Ice Block, Frost Bolt, Ice Lands doesn't even pop the block. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so you should, there, there's so nothing you here. Yeah, I think so at least, unless I mean unless there's some kind of mystical play here. I'm not looking at properly. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a, a way for Zeiss to stop this. He's one short. Well, now Savic is going to be dying, though. Let's see. Unless Savic has some kind of self-healing. But... Nope. No, no way. Savic okay. is going to be taking this. The Ice Block saves him. Kazan Mystic takes the game, making him up, you know, one game in this match. Thais couldn't get his 3-0 for the perfect tiebreaker score, but he ha he still has a chance of winning the series. And uh, as we said, you know that's one of the, that's probably his most important match uh, to get into the top five or stay in the top five, no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. So he wants yep. to get that win for sure. And that means Savic is gonna have to move on to Druid or Warlock against a Freeze Mage. And he goes for the Druid, which makes sense because most likely it, it has the bigger chances of winning against the Mage, against a Freeze Mage. Yeah. And Savage's tiebreaker is also important, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Uh, I think it matters to get in the top three. Yeah. He has plus one, and yeah, Firebat if he has wins a plus three. Dice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, the tiebreaker is really important for both players. Yeah. Savage wants to get like plus three at the very least, um, but it's also going to depend on the last match of the day. We have Show that's going to play versus Strife Crow, so that could also play into Savage's result. Because if Sho loses, then Savich, if he wins this, is going to skyrocket ahead no matter what. Yep. The Sho is 4 3 right now. So if he goes 4 4 and Savich is 5 3, he's just going to be in the top three and Sho's going to be on the bubble. Just out of the top three for the playoffs. On the bubble. Okay. On I have to bubble, remember, yeah. remember that. Yeah, I don't even know if it's a term that's used in Hearthstone. They're just using poker. I'm not too sure if. Uh, on the bubble. It's like just outside the, the monies. All right, so Druid versus Freeze Mage. There's a Zombie Chow, a Paladin Shredder. Wrath can be used for Acolyte of Pain, I'm guessing. Or as a Cycle um, versus so Loot Hoarder. What do you do with the Zombie Chow? Do you play it? Or I think as early as possible, yeah. Just try to get as much stuff out as possible. Kills Mad Scientists. Oh yeah, that's a good Kills thing. Loot Hoarders if you need to. If you need to curve into something else afterwards. Tice has the Antonidas. Um, 
Yeah, just Emperor kind of Thorsten like just got now. better, though. If he draws right. into into the Emperor, that's a really great great thing. Yeah, with a Frostbolt already in hand and the Frost Nova, that is as good as it gets. All he's missing is Ice Lines from this hand and then Emperor. And then it's just an Archmage slam everything to the face. Please. Oh, Emperor for Savage, though. Yeah, I have to say, with a Savage Roar already established in hand, this could be a game-winning card. Definitely an important card. Yep. And Thais lacks the ability to somehow deal with the Emperor if he will be, like, innovated. So Vich is going to go for the Savage Roar to give his opponent only one card off of the Acolyte. Hmm. He can curve into turn 5 though with a coin. I didn't really think of that, but that seems to be a pretty solid play now that I think of it. Yeah, that's a really I, I didn't, I didn't play. even... I wouldn't have taken that line of play myself, but mostly because I hadn't considered the, the follow-up. So that's definitely a great play from Savic. He's got a game plan and his curve is going to be pretty much spot on for the rest of the time. But now if Emperor is found for Thais, this He's... hand is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, he has to get the Emperor though. Yeah, this could this could be the the game winning emperor if it's found. But Savich is gonna be able to put on a lot of pressure before that remotely comes out. So this will force a doomsayer crossbow. Um, you think so? Yeah, better later than than further. Because you can curve into Blizzard afterwards, right? Yeah, I and guess. also important is the fact that there's less chances of drawing a keeper. Faster you play it, less keepers. Yeah. yeah. And you rare, you don't even keep it in your mulligan, generally speaking, if you find it. Mm -hmm. So, oh man, and now Savich has to skip this. Oh, uh, well, you heal power, right? And that's it. I think you could punch face with Riddle Claw for four if you just really uh, want really? it. But your zombie child negates it. Yeah, and, and you kind of lose the value of the second Savage Roar. Well, the thing is, when do you play it otherwise? Because you're going to be What about the for one? Okay, you, you see, I could actually get behind that. I think that's good. What do you need the UF for? Like, you, you, can, nature keep, you can keep these um, swipe and ref to kill Antonidas. Um, but that's basically it. Yeah, I think the cycle is good. Yep. Innervate also could be really important in the next few turns. Mm -hmm. That Emperor is going to be amazing. Which makes the Wrath Cycle play even better. The Emperor alone just changes mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the value of that. True. And Thais lacks the Alexstrasza a second time in this match. And this kind of changes the whole game plan. Oh man. Instant Emperor for Savisha. I can't blame him. And he finds the Lothab at a discount. Wow. What a, what a draw here. What a draw. So a uh, Fireball Acolyte. Yeah, you just everything you'd have to do to kill the emperor, you do. If it means you have to punch yourself in the face for seventeen, you do it. That's Against a druid, so I don't think two turns would be remotely viable for you. It's still fine because he just trades away a fireball and he's got the archmage already set up. But this could get really bad really fast for Thais. Oh man, look at this. Drake and I don't Pali. think you play Lotep right now. I agree. You, you just play Druid of the Claw and Pilot the Trigger. Or maybe yeah. even... No, you keep or the swipe Drake. for face. So you play the Druid of the Claw charge. And I would say even into the Acolyte. Do not give your opponent two card draws. Yeah. Oh, he, he swipes the Acolyte. All right. Okay. Well, rest okay. in peace, Acolyte. You will not be missed. Pyroblast. Yeah. Okay, that kind of um, changes stuff. You know, you have you have almost the burst you want. So turn nine, you can go with Antonidas double Ice Lens. No, no. He's setting up inevitability eventually. It's just that right now he's got to go for the Ice Lens play and hope there's no Keeper the Grove or removal. He's seen a swipe. He's seen a Wrath. What else could really come out? And Savich so is gonna be able to play a Loth up here to deny the Archmage value at least a little bit. But it would allow a Frost Nova, which wouldn't solve the problem. Yeah, that's a pretty huge deal. Yeah, the Nova just keeps going and he gets another Fireball, another round of possible and Fireballs. And you deal 5 damage from the Antonidas, I don't, I don't see Tice losing this, like, this instance. 
with this turn, he just seals the deal. I think so too. I would tend to agree with you. It's all gonna come down to oh, so he's just like I can't believe he's got a second Nova. Yeah. And that is you saw him tilt back in his chair there. Well, Not exactly. Still, have to see this. He still lacks the ice block, but that doesn't really matter. He has the bl blizzard, which achieves basically the same. Yeah. You blizzard. Oh. And you fireball face. I, actually, oh, wait. Is, is there a lethal? Just oh, wait. Look. There, yeah. Frostbolt, Frostbolt Ice Lance, no Fireball, hit. That's 6. That's 10. That's 15. And... No, that's 20. No, you can't. You can't take the risk either without Ice Block. No, no, no. You just... You just Blizzard. Yeah, you just play it very safe. You Blizzard safe. and you can play... Anti, uh, um, you can play the Mad Scientist and Frostbolt it. <laughs> to guarantee the <laughs> ice barrier or the... I, I don't think it's necessary. No, no you, just, just yeah. you just go face weapon. But, <laughs> but, but that's a that's a option you can do. So many fireballs. Half his hand is now composed... More than half his hand is composed of fireballs at the moment. It looks really bad though when you have a, like a golden one in your deck and then you have non-golden ones from Antonitis. You have to craft a golden one, I would say. Yeah, and now I think Savich is just going to give up. He's got no way to win this, no matter what. Yeah. He yeah. is out of the game, and as a result, uh, I believe out of the match, unless there's something I'm not aware of that he could be playing in his deck. And he's to, uh... emotional. Like, the salt hit him. Hit him hard. In a flaming oh. salt shaker. <laughs> what if they eventually make consumables? Neutral consumable, flaming salt shaker. <laughs> you get a new emote for the rest of the game. That says, nice luck, nice luck, nice luck. That's all you can spam. Well. Hmm. Well, you can't do nothing. You can just heal yourself, and that's it. Yeah, I just don't know what... I think he's alt-tabbing into alt-f4. He's currently going through, like, control alt delete his task ty manager. He's typing on Reddit. Antonite is up. Nerf, Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Is he, he's not moving. I think it's glitch, right? Oh, he's killing his opponent. Yeah, well. Okay. Uh, well, that sucked for Savish, though. That was Ice a really won. rough he ending won. there. That Archmage Antonidas with the double Ice Lance was super clutch, and the fact that Lothab could not deny anything. For Thais was a big deal. A second Nova for Thais, I think, won the game completely. Otherwise, that Archmage was dead. Without that Nova, the Archmage would have been gone, and Savich wouldn't have had to go down the road of getting frozen turn after turn. Yeah. True. Sure. Well, it's going to be matched. Thais is going to be taking this 3 to 1 over Savich, which means I think he's getting to the top 5, and I believe Savich is still in the top 5 for Season 2 re invitation, but. The drawback is he's not in the cutoff of the top three, which is where he wanted to be at the very end. I think if Sho loses, Sho at this point, since Savic didn't win the game, could stay in the top three no matter what. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look at the results. Well, Sho but... has plus six tiebreaker, and Savic has now plus minus plus... one. Okay, so Thais is going to be... And Thais has plus two. So, so there's no way that... Show falls down. Show so basically, down. Show is secured in the top three. Uh, Strive yeah. Crow is secured in the top three, and Firebat as well, I believe. Which means we already have our top three finalists for Group Alliance, unless I'm mistaken. And so these guys would be but, fourth and fifth, but we'll have to see. Yeah, but uh, all three of those Strive Crow, Firebat, and Show will be battling for like the, the spots. Like yeah, they can whoever still gets switch. the semifinals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then it matters because you're paired against place one, two, two or three from group horde. Yeah, the way it works is that if you finish first in your group, you're going directly to the semifinals without having to go through the quarterfinals. So people really want to finish first of their group, uh, given the chance. And I think this could be, there's a chance that Firebat skyrockets up above Strive Crow, uh, but it's going to take, I mean, Firebat's already played all his games. So it's going to come down to Strive Crow losing tiebreaker in, uh, in his next match. That's yep. about what it's going to come down to. And we're going to see Show versus Strive Crow a little later today, which is going to be uh, the top three match, effectively. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so uh, we are going to be taking a break, 15 minutes break. The next match we're going to be casting is unfortunately not going to be the Dog versus Orange that we had planned. That has to be postponed for tomorrow as a result of the schedule problems. But we'll be playing a show match. Lothar and I will be playing a stupid decks as we usually do in <laughs> moments of downtime. So, yeah, 
Kingwin Pro League will keep going. We'll be casting Strifecore and show after our show match. So yeah, 